What's going on YouTube? Ross is Reef bringing y'all the update that y'all have been asking for of the Nuvo Fusion 20 gallon reef tank. Uh, sorry guys, I have not done an update in a while on the tank actually. Um, went out of town for a week on spring break, uh, came back and been kind of busy with school a little bit. Um, had some, uh, not the, the tank obviously survived the week uh, I was gone. You know, I had a, a camera set up that I think I showed y'all in one of my updates, the one that I got. Really like that camera, guys. If you're looking for a camera to uh, be able to look at your tank, you know, while you're away, Amcrest Pro HD uh, on Amazon. You can get it for a hundred bucks uh, with basically a memory card in it and works great. Picture quality, 1080p, full HD. You can't beat it. Um, the tank did pretty good, I think, uh, the whole five days I was gone. Um, I did have someone, uh, my brother, actually come over and, you know, do a little bit of maintenance on the tank. Basically, he just changed out the filter sock to empty the protein skimmer, added a little bit of meaty fish food and some coral food to the tank, and basically kind of just scrubbed the glass. That's it. Didn't have to do too much more, you know, no additives. I've got the calcium alkalinity and magnesium, even my vodka that I do dose in here all on a doser. Auto top off system works fine. Um, so didn't have to do too much. I've got a large reservoir for all of those things and I topped them all off right before I left so it was good to go. Um, corals are doing pretty good in the tank. Uh, you see this torch coral just looking really, really nice. Um, this torch coral just loves it in this spot. Absolutely loves it. Um, I think it had three heads when I started and I think it already is kind of split into a fourth head. Um, it's really a nice, nice looking coral. I love it a lot. Um, adds an awesome flow, awesome color to the tank. You can't beat it. I got it for a really good price too, I think. So, happy with that buy. Um, what else is going on? We got the Lobo down here. Lobo is doing good. It's surviving. I think it lost some of its color though. If I remember correctly, that inside right there, the end part used to be like green. I don't know what happened with that or why it went away, but it did. So, kind of teed off about that, but I mean, it's a still cool looking coral, I guess. Um, Elegance Coral doing good. Normally, it's much more open. It just kind of closed up because I think it's uh, about to poop, actually. Um, coral is a beast, guys. That coral is awesome. Eats excellent. Um, it It's a monster. I love that coral. Really, really pretty. It's held onto its color good. Uh, nice little purple tips right there, you can see. So, really happy with that coral. Um, Green Star Polyps are really starting to get on the move, I think. Um... You know, guys, I don't get to really see the growth of these corals too much because I'm here 24-7, but I kind of rely on, like, y'all to kind of tell me if you'd notice that something grew. grew. Um, and I think these green star polyps are really encrusting pretty good. I can't wait till they cover this entire rock. Um, it'll look really cool. Little torch coral over here is doing just about as good as I think it always has. Um, doing all right, so can't complain on there. Um, let's see, we got the frog spawn back up in there, um, looking pretty good, kind of full right now, um, polyps are ex decently extended, I think, uh, and that second head's really starting to come out, so happy with that, uh, I got the Kenya tree, that one just pops up and down on its own, um, pulsing zinnia over here, uh, looking pretty good, it's really full on that rock, I'm gonna have to trim that stuff off, um, I know one of my subscribers said he'd like to get a piece of mine. Mine uh, really pulses uh, really good, actually. Um, grows like a weed in this tank, too. I would love to send uh, you some, dude, but I don't think you really want to pay the shipping cost overnight of that for something, you know, as cheap as this uh, pulsing zinnia. So, yeah. Uh, bubble coral is kind of uh, closed up right now. It's been like that for a day or two. I don't really know what happened. Um, I did have to... Uh, clean this tank out really really good guys let me tell y'all um when i came back they had so much detritus this tank for one the glass was really really dirty when i came back from my trip so i had to really clean it good everything scrub you know with the little algae scraper the flipper that i have love that mag that little uh glass cleaner guys the flipper if you don't don't know what it is go look it up good buy off amazon um and I had to really scrub the glass really, really good. Uh, also, I had so much like extra food or poo or something in this tank. It disgusted me so much. I hated it. I basically took the um, refugium over here out and I put another filter sock in there, put a clean filter sock in this one, and I basically sat here for 30 something minutes with my uh, Kent's Marine Sea Squirter and just squirted all the rock, every single hole, 
every nook and cranny all around. I turned the Vortec pump up and I just kicked that stuff up. Kicked it off the sand bed everywhere and got it drained out the tank. I did a water change. It was disgusting. Um, while I was away, I had the uh, automatic fish feeder dumping three feedings a day, two dumps per feeding. And, you know, I don't... I think I had that uh, set like that when I had some more fish in here that were like hardcore competing. But if y'all remember, I had like the firefish and the um, canary blank jump out of the tank on me. So those guys didn't make it. And I think I just never changed the feeding schedule. So I went ahead and cut one of those uh, feeding schedules out so that, that cuts out two drops of my tank. And I'm thinking it's going to help um, a lot more with that because I, I hate that stuff in my tank guys I like my tank looking pristine I like this sand bed looking nice and white and clean all the way around and it was not this spot back here is definitely definitely my uh, dirt spot this is where stuff collects um, that's probably where I get the least amount of flow um, and the plate coral guys is doing pretty good I know some of y'all um, I told y'all it wasn't doing too hot but it uh it's pretty resilient at nighttime its tentacles really extend like hardcore um looks amazing i wish it would look like that during the day but it doesn't so i might now that it's doing better bring it back up over here um i haven't decided if i can fit it in this spot right here i'll move this little coral somewhere um because i don't want the uh, torch coral you know staying it torch has got some major uh tentacles on it to where it can go around and do some damage so i don't know what i'm gonna do with it yet but we'll see um a little green mandarin doing good really colorful going around looking for pods and everything got a bunch of pods on the back of the glass all those little white dots back there are all the pods that he goes and eats um did go ahead and do one more dose of them uh not too long ago and seems to be working out good i'm probably gonna end up buying a pack of uh tigger pods every month and a half to dose in here for him to make sure he's nice and healthy and everything like that uh so he's going good um all the other fish are doing good the uh anemones for the wild guys the anemones were not doing too hot i don't know what it was i lowered the lighting i think i told y'all in the tank um because some of my coral i felt were kind of getting too much light like this um piece of acro or whatever i got right here from the frag show it doesn't look as good as it did anymore i'm really kind of upset about that you know it used to have nice uh tips on it that looked good and those are all closed up it kind of did get bleached a little bit um when i first put it in because i put it under this tank and so i went ahead and lowered the intensity of lighting and it's healed up pretty nicely actually it looks really really good compared to what it was um this uh cap over here is doing pretty good um it's got a lot more green on it right now it's closed up because the lighting right now i have when i video guys i do put my leds like i've tuned it in to where it basically makes all the colors in the coral and the tank really shine it's actually on like a hundred percent intensity right now just so y'all get a really good view of the tank and i don't think he that it liked the intensity too much it doesn't stay like this in long just until i'm done with the video but um yeah so that's probably why he's closed up a little bit bird's nest um looking a little closed up actually it's been like that for a couple days i don't really know what the issue was um yesterday everything was a lot more closed up though i will say um one thing i think the issue was was the soda line that i have in the back here was starting to get uh used up you know see this stuff changes from white to purple for those of you who don't know what soda lime is, basically it's um, something you buy, it looks like those little white beads you put in a container. They make special containers that you can buy, but you can make this obviously like I did, really cheap Gatorade bottle, drill some holes in the bottom, stick a piece of tubing in it. What you do is basically you um, run an air line uh, to the intake of your protein skimmer, and what this does, if you're having pH problems, basically if your pH is too low to where you know 7.8 or 8.0 even and you're not happy with it what it does is it removes the co2 that's coming into your tank via the air intake valve of your protein skimmer co2 lowers um ph so by removing the co2 before it can enter the tank you thereby increase the ph i will swear by it guys it works great um, for all of you who have been with me from the beginning, you saw I had the pH problem. You know, I was adding stuff all the time. I was fighting pH. Ever since I added soda lime on, guys, don't got to worry about nothing. Pop it on. It is worth the investment. I think a big bag of it was like $17. And I've, I've had this stuff running on my tank for months now. 
So for the price I pay for what I get, worth it. It is a necessity on my tank, I will say. If I do not have that on there, my pH goes down and my corals look like crap. So that is one thing I do always make sure is running good on my tank in full and all white in there. So that was, I think, the issue. And I think the corals are starting to come back from it. You know, the pH took a dip um, for a while, but uh, they're starting to come back. So happy with that. Let's see, we got the um, this little plating coral. This was um, the Mystic Monty, I think. The blue is not looking too hot on it. At nighttime, the blue comes out a little bit more. But right now, it's really starting to encrust on the rock. I'm actually impressed at the speed that it's encrusting. So it must really like that spot. Um, I just wish the colors would show up a little bit better um, on that. Let's see. Everything else in the tank is, you know, basically surviving, guys. Um, I haven't noticed too, too much growth. You know, let me take this time to talk about this. I almost wish I would have gone with, you know, maybe my next tank or something. I'm going to do a combination of T5 lighting and LED. I'm not convinced LED is powerful. It is definitely powerful enough to sustain, and it is powerful enough to get some growth out of your coral. Um, whether that growth is the maximum growth you're looking for or whatnot, you know, I don't know. I think T5 lighting and metal, metal halide is still a better option. You know, we've just had the hobbyists seen years of proven results with metal halide and T5. LED is a relatively new technology and it works good. It does. I mean, you get awesome coloration in your corals. Um, the controllability is amazing, but as far as growth and I'm not a hundred percent convinced that that's the best option. So when I get uh, my own place, I'm done with school and God knows how many years and I actually set up a big reef tank. I'm probably going to do a combination of T5 and uh, LED lighting. That'll definitely be, I think, the way I go. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all. Um, other than that, guys, I really don't know what more I can do on this update. You know, I can show y'all kind of everything. Protein Skimmer's doing its job. Um, whoop, sorry, I almost dropped the uh, phone there. That would not have been good. Um, whoop, hold on, let me turn off the uh, auto top off real quick. Uh, down here, number five. There we go. Um, here's the refugium, what it's looking like. Uh, got the Chato algae growing in there pretty good. Um, stuff grows good, guys. I'm really happy I went with this um, refugium right here. It's an excellent form of biofiltration. Basically, um, I've told you all this before. I have mechanical filtration via the uh, filter sock. I have now biological filtr filtration. Sorry, guys. Um, via the um, Chetomorpha algae, another form of mechanical filtration, the protein skimmer. Then I have chemical filtration via the um, carbon and GFO back there. So, you know, all types of filtration, I think when you use a combination of all of that, you can, per you can achieve a really pristine, clear water look. And your corals will show when your water quality is good. Keep up with those water changes. Those are your best friend. I know they can be a pain in the butt. Sometimes you don't like to do them. It's messy, but do them. Your tank will thank you for it, and you will be thankful for it as well. So this has been Ross's Reef. I really hope you all enjoy this update. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave it below. I love hearing y'all's feedback, guys. I always get excited when I get a comment. Um, that way I can reply to y'all's questions, answers. I like hearing y'all's suggestions, too. It really uh, helps me out. Um, I want to give a shout out to CJ uh, Aquariums on his tank. Uh, if y'all haven't seen his uh, videos, guys, go check him out. He has some amazing looking tanks where I wish I could almost make mine look as good as his. Um, he's got a really nice uh, LPS tank right now um, going on and it looks amazing. So go check out his videos. I know he does some like drawings and everything. You might be able to win something if you go check out his, uh, his channel. So this has been Ross's Reef. I'll see y'all later.